Hey there everyone, we have done a lot of coding and all of that stuff. It's over. Now it's time to find out the state of the art reasoning model. Which is the best smartest model? Is it GPT-5 or Grok 4 or it's going to be Cloud Opus 4.1? If you go on to my model recommendations page, you can see the best reasoning model previously was Grok 4. But has that changed? Today we'll be looking at that. So you know before we go into our testing, what we'll do is we'll be looking at other reasoning benchmarks and where do these three models or any other model stands. Let's start with the OpenAI blog post. Why not? That is the latest thing that we have over here. So GPQA diamond benchmark, you know this is a very good reasoning benchmark and if you look at GPT-5's score, it has scored 85.7. Is it the best? Well actually not. If you head over to Gemini 2.5 Pro's blog post, you can see Gemini 2.5 Pro scores 86.4, you know slightly ahead than GPT-5. Well then is Gemini 2.5 Pro the best? Well actually not again. The best is Grok 4 scoring an 87.5. Now let's move on to one of my favorite benchmark. We'll come back to the OpenAI's blog post. You can see GPT-5 without any tools scores 24.8%. We are considering without any tools. The reason is that that is what is listed on the humanity's last exam page. But again, is GPT-5 the best? No, it's not. Actually, Grok 4 slightly surpasses it with 25.4. So even in humanity's last exam benchmark, Grok 4 is ahead. Let's move on to one more popular benchmark. That is the RKGI leaderboard. We'll be looking at RKGI. AGI2 and if you look at the scores, Grok4 thinking is way ahead. You know, it scores 16%. Whereas GPT-5, if you talk about the high model, scores 9.9%, slightly above Claude 4 Opus, but still way behind than Grok 4 thinking. But I do have some doubts because if you move on to RKGI1, you can see that O3 preview is sitting somewhere around here. You can see how high it is, even higher than Grok 4 thinking. So this is an RKGI1 benchmark, but in RKGI2, Grok 4 is significantly ahead than GPT-5. So the point is, in three benchmarks, we saw that Grok 4 is ahead. Now let's actually get into my testing. Here you can see I have four very different questions. 64 tennis players, seating arrangement, jersey number, navy designation. These are very hard questions guys. The 10 models that you see over here, any other model is most likely not going to score good in these questions. So it's that hard. You can look at the scores of each model and stuff, but we have two new entries that is GPT-5 and Claude Opus 4.1. So we'll be looking at each of their scores one by one and having some discussions. I'll be also showing the questions. Let's talk about the 64 tennis players question. Let me open up my website. If I go to problem collections and reasoning problems, here all the questions are listed. So this is the 64 tennis players question. Let's look at the scores. So in this particular question, the highest that any model has been able to score is O3, scoring a 10 out of 10 and Grok 4 scoring a 10 out of 10. What about GPT-5? Well, GPT-5 scores an 8 out of 10. And I know after seeing this, the expectations might have went down. Having said that, let's move on to Claude Opus family. Previously, Claude Opus scored an 8 out of 10. What about Claude Opus 4.1? Cloud Opus 4.1 is a model which is focused more on improving the reasoning of the model. Let's look at the score. So the model scores an 8 out of 10 again. So in this particular question, we don't see any kind of improvements. If Are there any improvements? We'll be looking at that later in this video. Having said that, let's move on to the next question that is seating arrangement. One of the hardest questions that I have. Let me show you. So you can see this is the question. And it is particularly hard because you just don't have to actually respond with the correct option but you also have to mention the correct seating arrangement. So let's look at the scores. The previous best was again Grok 4 scoring a 7 out of 10 followed by OpenAI O3 scoring a 6 out of 10. What about GPT-5? Will it score higher, lower? Well, brace yourselves. You're going to get blown by the scores. GPT-5 scores a 9 out of 10. The moment I saw this, I was blown away. Just when O1 preview was released, it was not even able to score 1 out of 10 in this question. But GPT-5 scored a 9 out of 10, nearly solving this question. This shows that GPT-5 thinking, you know, in its high setting, is an intelligent model. I do understand the frustration that people are feeling with the chat GPT interface and even I have felt it. I'm not saying that it's everything is awesome and stuff like that because you know you look at this interface i was able to build this interface with the help of gpt5 but in the second try in the first try it gave me one of the most 
terrible and ugliest response you know the table was not even formatted correctly i've never seen a model make such silly errors so what were the errors you can see the score should be directly mentioned below the question right so here is the question and all scores respective to that should be present over here you know what i got so the questions were like this and all these scores they were congested over here just imagine i've never seen a model do such errors i have been making these tables with gemini 2.5 pro for quite some time now but i've never seen this kind of behavior from gemini 2.5 pro so the chat interface is a bit wacky and you know has all those problems that people are talking about but if you talk about the raw model that is gpt5 high it does seem like a good model having said that let's move on to cloud opus 4.1 by the way guys anytime we test cloud opus or any of its iterations the prices absolutely skyrocket i don't even remember how many times i refilled my credits in open router i actually even posted about this saying that currently testing opus 4.1 on reasoning problems and only just half way through it and i have burned more than 25 dollars and i have also added a sentence if you compare output pricing of opus it is 7.5 times pricier than gpt5 which means you can make a gpt5 heavy for yourself with six agents and seventh one that combines their output and even that gpt5 will be cheaper than opus so this is the raw estimates that i have come up with now you can understand how pricey this model is to test by the way i have also posted about donations on my website so i have removed all kinds of ads from my website and if you head over to my website you can see there is a donate button so if you want to support me you can use that donate button and help me out having said that let's look at the score of opus 4.1 in the seating arrangement question we have already seen gpt5 score it has scored a 9 out of 10 the absolute best surpassing even grok 4 which scored a 7 out of 10 what about cloud opus 4.1 well before going to cloud opus 4.1 let's look at cloud for opus so it scores a 0 out of 10 what about opus 4.1 opus 4.1 scores a 0 out of 10 again so clearly guys this model is not good in reasoning and maybe that is the reason anthropic seems to be too much focused into coding either they have initially thought to be focused on coding and trained their model like that or the model maybe actually has come up to be good in coding and bad in reasoning and they have pivoted entirely into coding i don't know which situation is the correct one but the results are here let's move on to the next question and the question is jersey number one of the hardest questions that i have let me show you the question you can see this is the one and even here you have to actually come up with the correct arrangement you know you have to assign the correct jersey number to the correct player let's look at the scores if you look at the scores the highest that any model has been able to score is a 2 out of 10 coming up from deep sea carbon and o4 mini high what about gpt5 well before going to gpt5 let's look at open ai o3 score open ai o3 scores a 1 out of 10 what about gpt5 gpt5 scores a 0 out of 10 so again we have another question where it's actually falling slightly behind o3 but in terms of total scores it is ahead because in seating arrangement question it made up for its losses having said that let's move on to opus the previous cloud for opus model scored a 1 out of 10 do we see any kind of improvement with opus 4.1 let's see opus 4.1 scores a 2 out of 10 so this is the first question we are actually seeing some kind of improvement you know marginal improvement with opus showing that this model is slightly better in reasoning and the most important thing is it didn't lose any of its previous abilities and intelligence and all those stuff all those are intact unlike open ai which is kind of here and there having said that let's move to the final question that is navy designation let me open up and here you can see this is the question you have to assign the correct designation to the correct person let's look at the scores the highest that any model has been able to score is a 10 out of 10 from grok for reasoning what about open ai o3 open ai o3 scored a 5 out of 10 what about gpt5 then gpt5 scores a 9 out of 10 and again you can see it makes up for its losses and gains significant margin which brings it total to 26 out of 40 let's look at opus 4.1 and opus opus scored a 9 out of 10 so actually this question was introduced because there was a lot of debate whether opus was one of the intelligent model or not you know cloud for opus so i decided to include this question and actually cloud for opus performed very good at it but still the total scores are kind of very less what about cloud opus 4.1 4.1 again scores a 9 out of 10 so you can see in most of the test the 
scores have been identical just one point improvement in the jersey number question with that we get a total of 19 with opus 4.1 and cloud for opus scoring an 18 so we just see one point improvement nothing much but if we compare o3 and gpt5 o3 scored 22 out of 40 and gpt5 scored 26 out of 40 so we do see four points improvement which is quite significant so if we now sort it by the score we can look at the smartest reasoning model the smartest reasoning model is grok for reasoning scoring 27 out of 40 and a very close second is gpt5 scoring a 26 out of 40 it is what it is guys grok for is better in my testing and that is the reason i have shown you other reasoning benchmarks as well to show you that it is almost a unison that grok for reasoning is better but one thing you have to understand is grok for takes a lot of tokens it will think up to 15 minutes 18 minutes and it's also priced slightly higher so it will take a lot of time to you know come up with a response but most likely the response is good but if time is a constraint maybe grok for reasoning is not the one to go i have some applications where actually time is a constraint time that is the reason even though i know grok for reasoning is the smartest model i can't use it in few of my applications having said that i have also noticed that even gpt5 you know took 15 minutes let me actually show you one of the screenshots so i shared this with my subscribers you can see gpt5 is thinking for 40 minutes and 38 seconds so this is actually something new that i have not seen with o3 o3 in my opinion didn't take this much time it might be slightly less so even gpt5 seems to have a tendency to think a lot but it's not all the time so that is it guys on my website in model recommendations the best reasoning model is still going to be grok4 but i do acknowledge that the score difference between grok4 and gpt5 is very small to the point that it is just one point so i'll see what can i do with the reasoning testings is there any way to improve it or not i let you guys know about that to know all the latest stuff about ai make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and put the notification bell to all because whatever i find or see in my testing or is there any kind of leaks i try to post it first in my youtube post you can see even before the release of gpt5 we had the leaks of 5 nano 5 mini and you know gpt5 so i try to keep my subscribers updated about it make sure you have subscribed having said that if you want to support me the donate button is there or you can do a super chat or super thanks if you don't want to there's no problem at all you know usually these tests are not that pricey but when it comes to models like cloud for opus cloud for opus 4.1 the prices skyrocket having said that i hope i was able to give you clear information about the reasoning models where they stand their positives negatives and all of those stuff if you found the information helpful please do hit the like button subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one